Welcome everyone to another, well actually the first, of another gaming video. So today I'm here in my single player world playing with a very special mod, well one of the content packs for, for the Flans mod. Today I'm here with Poker's Garage, um, a content pack by Poker Mortar for the Flans mod, a mod that adds cars and planes and weapons and I think it's probably my favourite mod of all time. Anyway. As you can see behind me, I have some of my favourite vehicles from the Pokers Garage 3.0 pack. There are many other packs to choose from, depending on your style and what you like to do in your single play world. So, because there are so many of these cars, and so as you can see here, look at all these options here. Tons and tons. I also have other packs installed, as you can maybe see. Anyway, um, because there are loads of cars, I, I'm not going to go over the crafting recipes. I'll just show you what it does, and I'm sure you can explore them yourself. Okay, so let's start off with a car here. It's a Citroen C4 Cactus. I don't know why you'd pop. I just chose the green one, because the cactus, yeah. Yeah, anyway. Um, so, to steer these things to go back, only some models allow you, for instance, in this pack, you can't actually go back. So I'm using the S key. But you can turn around on the spot, which is a bit unrealistic. Anyway, so I go F5. So this is, the modeling is fantastic, by the way. And the way you control it, you don't control it by looking. So you can, you do WASD. I go, whoa. They're very hard to control. Ah. Okay, so you go WA, turn left, D to turn right. Okay. Oh, no, I'm glitching. I'm glitching. Anyway, um, I'm not such a good driver. Oh, Christ. Um, um, I've landed on a balcony. Wow, perfect game. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Um, okay, yay! Our oh, cactus is fixed. Ah, oh, no, that's our, there's our blue house. Sorry about the sounds, I guess they're a bit messed up, but. And as you can see, oh, wow, okay, let's, let's just park in this. Okay, that'll work, that'll work. The next car I'm going to go over, over is this, a Ford Mustang GT, it's a 2015 model. As you may know, this is the same car from our intro, as you can see, me driving it down New York Street. Okay, let's hop in, let's press F5, beep, 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 oh no, this is not first, I totally forgot. And they also look really good from the inside, they've got like d dials and dashes and you can, what's also really cool about these is you can fit passengers. Hold on, let me, this is a bit buggy. This, yeah, you can fit passengers. And in survival, the way you would fuel it is you go into the car and then press R. You get this menu for Mustang GT Red. Anyway, if this was a tank or a plane, you'd have the gun section. You could show your guns and stuff. But because of this car, we need fuel. So you put a fuel can in there. You search in inventory, fuel can, there you go. That's depending on the parts package you need. Okay, so there's also some repair. So if you crash your car, it's better to let me demonstrate with this one. So I click R, I click repair. As you can see, my car is damaged. So let's go back into the Mustang and try it out. <clears throat> That's a really bad sound. Ah, oh, let's slide out. Let's slide out the driveway. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Yeah, let's slide out. And as you can see, the way you drive them is a bit problematic. Now, in the new version of Flan's mod, um, Flan has been saying that he's going to improve the vehicle set physics, which is really exciting. Crashing. Okay, get out. Alright, let me test the next week. Oh, no. Okay, let me replace it. Yeah, and this is the Citroen DS3 Racing. Let's 
get back out. Let's turn around. And as you can see, some of these cards are great for like, if you have like a city map and you're doing role play with mods. These are sometimes really great for getting around the city. And, and as you can see, they're quite tail happy. Ah, hang on, let me just do a drift over here. I'm gonna watch the back end slide. Ready? And go drift! Oh, that, that was just really failed drift. No, 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 no. Yeah, see, some things you can go through them, but some walls, when you hit them, you just go, oh, no. Uh, I went straight through a... Oh, crap. Okay, let's get rid of that trip. Anyway, let's move on to the next car. So, the next car we have... Ooh, let's test the caterer. So this is our catering, as you can see. Still got the same menu as every other car. Let's turn around. And as you can see, they come. In, they also come in, in, in the creative menu. They come in different colors. And as you can see, you can see yourself in them. And yeah. Wow. Let's take it for a ride. Right. No, no, I just missed. Oh, I really crushed that. Next, this, this is a Skoda Octavia. Now some of these, and as I mentioned earlier, these are oh God, already. These are really, really good for role plays if you're playing in multiplayer with your friends, as I mentioned. Some of these cars, like the ones with back seats, if you right click them in the back, you can actually sit in the back and the drive can drive you around. Really awesome. Let's take the La Ferrari. This is a fairly, and I have to say, out of them all, this is a really good model. I love the modeling on this one. Detail that back is in the front. No! Um, just to prove the modeling is fantastic, let's grab a, another car, which I would have shown you if I ran out of space in the hot bar. Hot bar. Anyway, this is a BMW 507. Look at that modeling. Look how detailed that is. And, um, yeah. See, so look at that little git. Look at that wheel. I wasn't doing this out. This is an Audi, all right. As you can see, they're all very realistic cars. They're all based off real cars. You can also get other mod packs, like well, other content packs, like GTA Five content packs, and it's like you can own your own Dubstar and all these different cars from GTA Five. And you can also get other mod packs, like war mod packs, and drive around and jeeps and things. Yeah, let's have a look here. Oh, M3. So you have a BMW, an old BMW M3. Now, as you can see, if you go really um, slow in some of these, they are quite easy to control. But if you go too fast, well, normally you'll crash and spin out and glitch up a building. As you can see, yeah. So that's as fast as we can. Obviously, you use the S key to stop. We went a bit far. Right, so let's go back to our street. And if you're wondering, this map is called the Lomiaville map by, I'm not sure the name, I'll just put it in the description. But as you can see of the fine modeling, this is the Aventador. You do just burnouts in there, it's really fun. And as you can see, the car is still kind of sliding a bit. Anyway, so. That concludes today's short mod review. If you like, please like, rate, and subscribe.